This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CUD. Delighted to be joined by Josh Taylor. How are you, Josh? Yeah, good man, good. It's just uh, doing here for the fight, obviously. Doing a little bit of commentary on the Five Live, BBC Live, so yeah, it was good. What do you think of the main event? Agree with the result? Yeah, it was good, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with Chisora, you know. It's like the older he's getting, the more he's better he's getting, you know. He's, uh, he's always producing the goods, that's for sure, you know. He's, uh, it's not a it's not a, a top heavyweight, but he, he'll give anyone a tough night, you know, and he and he'll give it his all as well, you know. There's no denying he's got a heart and desire, the size of a lion, you know. He's just a he's just a complete fighter, you know. He's just a he's just a total fighting man. Uh, like he says, he doesn't care about belts. He just wants to be in big fights. So, yeah, he, he's always exciting to watch. You always know it's going to be some kind of excitement or controversy in his fights. You know, it's uh, it's always exciting to watch. It is. Josh, were you one of those that wrote him off after the last fight against Parker? Where, to be fair, he got flattened a couple of times and bounced around the ring. Yeah, I mean, I mean he's, but you know, that's what you're saying when you, when you watch his fights. It's always it's always excitement. You know, you don't know which way it's going to go. Um, and, and you put them in with any heavyweight, even the young ones that are coming up, you know, top contenders, any any contender, he, he will give them a hard night, you know, then that's, that's guaranteed, almost guaranteed. Unless he gets caught with a shot. You know, he's been he's been caught with big shots over the over the years, so I think his punch resistance and that's starting to slide a little bit now. So you you wouldn't want to see him getting in too many big more big tough fights, you know. So you wouldn't want to see him getting too many more of them, but yeah, um, he, he would give anyone a tough night, that's for sure. Yeah, we couldn't quite make out what he was saying in the ring, but the, the what we were told, Josh, was he's asking Eddie Fern for more money or he's going to switch channels. What would you advise him to do? <laughs> hey, get the money while you can, it's not. It's a short career, so get it while you can. Like. Can I quickly talk about you before you dash? Uh, lots of talk about your stopping where you are to put the right or wrong with Jack Carroll. Is it true, false? Can you give us any news? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm staying out of the way for now for the time being, you know, um, I've done everything in my power, you know, uh, <coughs> I vacated the WBA and I've just vacated the WBC. Um, I was I was going to stay and do the the, the Zapida fight, um, but the WBC were wanting it too soon after the wedding. I've just been married, you know, just going away and stuff like that, so I needed to spend a little bit of time with my family and my new wife, so I wouldn't have been ready in time. Um, so I've decided to vacate the belt. And that clears the path, or should clear the path for the Carroll fight. I've done everything in my power to make that happen. So I'll wait around for a little while. If it can be made, it can be made. I'm not going to wait around, but for sure I want to fight him again. 100% I want to fight him again, and I want to do it next, if possible. Uh, if not, I'll be moving up probably in weight uh, to welterweight, and then I'll revisit the fight again at some point. But I have to fight him again, that's for sure. Good man. Josh, I can see your media queue forming behind us, so I'll let you quickly sneak up before you look at them, mate. Ah, nice one. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Josh. Take care. Thanks.